my sisters and brothers in Jesuit churches throughout the world, we gather as we celebrate St. Ignatius Loyola, our founder, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. I'd be, like to begin by uh, welcoming tonight uh, Sister Mark Callahan, who is going to preach tonight. Um, the, Society, the Institute of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Loretto Sisters, as they're commonly called in Australia, were inspired by their foundress, Mary Ward, in 1611 to take the spirituality, the name, and also the mission of, uh, like the Jesuits, but they wanted to do it for women and children. Well, Ignatius Loyola and Mary Ward had a tough time of it. They didn't get the name, they eventually got the constitutions, but our spirit and our mission have always been so sympathetic. It's an honour tonight that Mark will break open God's word for us. It's a so therefore, none of you can be my disciples if you do not give up your possessions. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Richard, for an invitation tonight. It doesn't surprise me that the readings chosen for the Mass of the Feast of St. Ignatius are very strong readings. Jeremiah is overpowered by God and has to cry out the word of God because it's a burning fire within him. Paul's advice to the Corinthians is to do everything for the glory of God seeking not only your own benefit but only sorry not seeking not your own benefit but only the benefit of others and luke relates as we've just heard that jesus said if anyone comes to me and doesn't hate his father mother wife or children brothers and sisters even life itself you cannot be my disciple and you have to be this focused if you are going to last the journey of following christ so before you commit, understand that it could cost you everything. When I look at Ignatius, I see a man who was very much like this. As heart speaks to heart, may it be your heart that touches our hearts so that the grace of a discerning heart can come to live in us. Amen. We need a lot more women preaching in the Catholic Church. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Thanks to your sisters and thanks to God for the witness. Men should just stop persecuting women in the church. Mary Ward gets persecuted like Mary MacKillop got persecuted and we, they always come off second best. We need to learn a few things. Anyway, enough of that. Let's stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, in the of St. Ignatius Loyola, O Lord. Bring us to exalt your majesty without end, through Christ our Lord. Amen. On your behalf, uh, let's thank again Sister Margaret for those wonderful reflections. <laughs> Secondly, I know that uh, you'll join me on either side. And we all remember this wonderful blessing we've been singing here for a long time. Let's extend our hands over these wonderful children, the hope of our future, our church, and bless each other.
may Almighty God bless us all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let's go and announce the Gospel with our lives. Thanks be to God.